Ms. Draper is a high quality educator. She's very personable, she's positive, she builds great relationships with her kids, and she does everything at a high level. So originally a lot of us had came over from Prosper High School and once we knew that Rock Hill was opening, we kind of wanted to start a new program and start a fresh start and be able to like make a name for ourselves. So when we had first met Margie, it was like in the summer when we were planning everything and we did not know how the program was going to go because we were much shorter staff than what we had came from. Ms. Riper this year is uh, teaching yearbook and broadcast. It's her first year teaching broadcast this year and if you couldn't tell, she has done amazing at it. Um, but I think that teaching two really big classes has really pushed her and it's pushed us because we had to learn to be independent. She actually only had two yearbook members this year and doing a yearbook that's over 300 pages for anyone is difficult, um, but it's, it's just even more impressive that she got it done herself and two other people and we did a broadcast every single day. So it's just, what can't she do honestly, <laughs> so yeah. I made it very clear, like, I didn't want to be just a yearbook advisor. I wanted to be a media advisor. I wanted to have the advanced production classes and create products with students. So I intentionally asked, if you bring me on, please, can I be the yearbook advisor and the broadcast advisor? I want to run a media program. I want a converged media program. Normally you have the print side and you have the broadcast side, and the two usually are separate. But I'm like, no, we're going to be Rock Hill Media and we're going to be print, online, news, radio. We're gonna be all the things. We're gonna do all the things. Calling a teacher by their first name is not anything natural for any kid, but it's really helped us break that barrier uh, between that family and that teacher aspect. Uh, just calling her by her first name, Margie, uh, around some adults are like, whoa, you just called your teacher by her first name. But I think it's really something cool and maybe other teachers should do it because it really helps us show like she's one of us, she's here to help us and she's not here to cross her arms and say y'all figured out yourselves. What I love the most about a journalism education is because it empowers kids. It empowers kids to use their voice, it gives them confidence, it gives them the ability to try things they don't typically try or something they're maybe a little hesitant on. She's taught me to be someone who never gives up, never take no for an answer and always strive to be your best. You know, she always makes everyone feel like they should always push to be a better version of themselves. Good enough isn't good enough if it can be better, and better isn't good enough if it can be best. And to me, there's always something more. I think that she has pushed me harder than anybody has ever pushed me before. I think that's helped me grow as a person, as a leader. Um, she's given me a lot of leadership tips and really shown me what a true leader looks like. She has done a remarkable job promoting our school. Uh, and it's just meant the world, you know, not just to myself, but to our teachers too, who are working hard. But a lot of people don't see with the day-to-day -day things that they do. Well, Margie and her team come in and can really showcase that. But these kids are telling the stories of the people and the individuals they go to school with, and they're building better communities by using their voice. And I'm so happy to be a part of teachers and educators and young journalists that are getting to do that kind of work and the empowerment of using their voice. And so I'm proud to share what we're doing with my peers because in turn, we're just making everybody stronger, not just our classrooms. Margie, I just wanna thank you so much for helping me grow as a journalist and all the life lessons you have taught me. I'm gonna always remember this class and just the environment that you created for all of us and I'm forever thankful that I got the opportunity for you to be my teacher. Margie, I don't think there's enough words that I can say that will compare to the scope of what you've done for me this year. But I'm really truly appreciative of how much you've pushed me this year, both as a leader and a journalist. Uh, people know you around the state and around the world for a reason. Um, and I'm just so thankful that I had the opportunity to have you as my teacher and just experience what everybody was talking about with Margie Raper. So thank you so much.